From 2001 to 2005, Maven Huffman was a WWE superstar. And in July of 2023, Maven started a YouTube channel. Well, he had it back in 2014, but he started uploading consistently in July of 2023. And this channel has blown up. There's been a lot of copycats from other wrestlers. There's been a lot of speculation on how he got as popular as he got on YouTube. And there's a lot to talk about. First off, from 2001 to 2005, Maven was a WWE superstar. That's the fact, and that's what makes this channel unique. The other thing that makes it unique is that Maven had just a good enough career, but he never broke through that glass ceiling to put him in the upper echelon of being a big superstar. And a lot of people think that if Maven would have stuck through it, maybe there could have been another run for Maven. Once he got done with WWE, he kind of called his career quits. And he stopped wrestling. Never came back. So that makes you think, what if Maven would have made it? And that also brings it back to, this is intriguing. I remember this guy. He was on WWE from 2001 to 2005. And he'll tell you that at the beginning of every video because he wants you to know that. Another unique thing about Maven is is that he is a very great speaker. He can talk very, very well. You could tell that when he was in the WWE, and you can tell that on his YouTube channel, and that really sets him apart. Going off of YouTube, if you look at just YouTube in general, he's got everything down to a T. From the filming, to the multi-camera editing, to the WWE footage he uses in his videos, to the title and the thumbnail where he takes a unique thumbnail of him standing there, maybe holding a couple pictures, maybe a cool little Photoshop, but it sets it out as like a YouTube video. Where a lot of wrestlers start a podcast and do that route, Maven decided to go in the YouTube route and he's got that style down. He knows the algorithm or whoever he's working with. I'm assuming he has a full team. I know he has at least one guy that helps him, but they know their stuff. They know this is the title you should go with. This is what you should do. And this is going to get you the views that you need to get. Also, the thumbnails are banging. The titles are right there. You want to click on the video. That's the big thing. If you see the video, you're like, oh, I remember Maven. He's talking about this. No way. I got to click on that. And that's what sets him apart. Another thing that really sets Maven apart is his transparency. He is very honest and open about where he has been and what he has done in his career. And it really does show here. If you look at some of the videos he's making, these are crazy. The most recent video he made was the day I got arrested, which in itself is a very crazy thing to do, but he did it and he used a picture of his mugshot as his thumbnail. That was crazy. He also did reacting to wrestlers he worked with, which again goes back to that unique perspective where he can tell Shawn Michaels, what was he really like? There's a lot of stories about Shawn Michaels. Well, he's going to tell you what it was like when he was backstage with Shawn Michaels. And he tells the stories. He also talks about how much money he made as a WWE wrestler. And that's sort of a taboo subject. You don't really hear a lot of people talk about money, but he went out there, he told what he made, he told his, his story and that's something unique that he had in him and that worked for his YouTube channel. Another thing was is how he got and used steroids, which is a very, very crazy thing to do. But he had a very well thought out outlook on steroids. And he talked about, this is what I did. Do I regret doing it? Yes. This is what I had. This is what some of the boys had. This is what you could do. And he tells his story and he tells it exactly how it is. One of the biggest reasons I think his channel thrives is because he is honest and he takes accountability for his failures. There's nothing hiding here. He tells it like it is and says, yeah, that wasn't a smart thing I did. Steroids wasn't great for my body. Uh, taking all these bumps wasn't great. Uh, doing some of this stuff just wasn't great for me. He even talks about times when he got fired and when he didn't do things that he should have done in the wrestling ring. And those are just things that he is taking accountability for. And when you take accountability like that and you come out and you're very transparent like that, you can in turn be trustworthy with your audience. And that's one of the things that you see there. A lot of guys that are doing this are trying to tell their story and maybe get you to come out to shows if they're still wrestling or whatever it may be. But Maven, he's not trying to sell you tickets to a show. He's just trying to tell you some stories and make some YouTube videos here in the end. And that's what he's doing. And it's really working for him as it's showing where his channel is blowing up. 
So he's very honest. He's very open. He's very transparent. And he's just not giving you any BS. He's saying, this is what happened. I failed. And uh, that's my story. So I'm going to tell it, which is very, very authentic. And I love it. And it's not something you see a lot online, especially in this day and age with the way the internet is. Everybody's got a online persona and then a regular persona in real life. But Maven Huffman, man, you're telling it like it is. And I believe it. I believe that this is the guy that I saw on TV. And here he is now telling his stories from when he was in the WWE. And I think that's really, really cool. Now, what can we learn from Maven's YouTube channel that we can use if we're doing a YouTube channel or we're just trying to make it on the internet? Well, first off, you have to have a unique story that you're going to tell. He was a WWE superstar from 2001 to 2005 during some of the best times in pro wrestling. And he didn't make it. So he's telling his story and giving you some of the things that are very intriguing to you. If you don't have a unique perspective like this, if you don't know what you're talking about, uh, it's just not going to translate well on the internet and you're not going to have a great YouTube channel. So get something that is unique to you. Use that, your personality, use that and turn out the content that you think is very interesting. If you don't think it's that interesting, if you can't sit through and watch this video and you don't think it's that interesting, then it's not worth making. But Maven is doing it and he's doing it well. Secondly, it's just YouTube. Just learn the system. He's obviously got a guy that's learned the system. I'm sure he's learning the system now. He seems like a smart guy. He's very well-spoken. That's one of the things that will help you is just being very well-spoken. But learning the YouTube system, study videos, see what's working, throw things at the wall, try it. If it works, do it again. Try it five different ways and see which one works. And then you'll figure it out. You'll figure out your style. His style is working very, very well. He has very awesome thumbnails that catch your eye and say, wait, that's Maven from the WWE, Maven Huffman. I remember that guy. I'm clicking on the video. I'm watching it. There it is. He's also got really catchy titles. The day he got arrested, crazy title. How he got and used steroids. That's another crazy title. Reacting to working with WWE wrestlers. That's an awesome title. How much money he made as a wrestler. That's also an awesome title. And he's killing it with the game. He knows that and he's getting people to click on his videos. Another great thing he does, I haven't really mentioned it, but he does shorts. He cuts up his videos, puts them into shorts, takes a segment from that, cuts it up into a segment, puts it as a short. People watch it. It's good. It gets people funneled back into the channel to watch his main videos. Put up a short. There's a link you can put at the bottom that will link you to the main video. So he says, uh, my reaction of working with Shawn Michaels. Watch that little short. Click on that link. It'll take you to the full video that he has a long form video. You can funnel people back in to do it. The other thing that's very intriguing about the way he does his videos is these are evergreen type videos, which I don't know if you know what evergreen is, but evergreen is a video that lives on forever and you see it and it keeps coming back up and it's evergreen. It never stops. It's not timely. It's not like, oh, my reaction to WWE WrestleMania. It's like, this is something that you can tune in every week and watch. The day I got arrested, you can always come back to that and say, oh, that's an interesting story. Or how much money he made as a WWE superstar. You can always come back to that. And the thing that he does, which I talked about a million times in this video, is from 2001 to 2005, I was a WWE superstar. That is his intro, which is a very good intro because if you're watching this video for the first time and you have no idea who this Maven guy is, you go, he was a WWE superstar? Okay, I'll listen. You got, you piqued my interest. Let's go. And that's very cool. And I think that's something that strikes him. He's got a very good intro, but it's also an evergreen type intro. So if you do have an intro like that, or if you're trying to catch people like that in the video, you got that evergreen hook and you're trying to make that evergreen content. If you can do that, you're set, you're made, you're made in the shade. You can do it. Honestly, there is times where you can make those videos like reaction to WrestleMania, but you also want to make the evergreen content that is just bolder and wider. That's going to tell you, okay, this is something that can live on forever. Like, I have a video actually about Maven called What Went Wrong With Maven. And what it does is it talks about his career, ups and downs, and then my thoughts on what I think, he, you know, could have happened with him. And that's a great video. That's an evergreen video. You go, oh, I remember Maven. Let's click on that and watch it. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you watch it now or you watch it 10 years from now. You can always go, wait, that was like a time capsule to Maven's career. I can always watch that. This is what happened. This is where it's going. This is his thoughts on what Maven did in the WWE. And I think that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome. I think that's the, 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 the best kind of content that you could make. It's something that you can always go back to and it will always be relevant. That's evergreen content. So Maven, you're killing it with the game. Love the content. Keep it up. One of my favorite YouTube channels to watch. There's a lot of copycats out there, which is awesome because that's just the best 
form of flattery is when people are taking your work and trying to use it. And I just wanted to show a little love to you and say, man, you're doing everything right. Keep up the game. Anyway, guys, I'm Tony Beats Guy. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. Again, we'll see you in another video.